An eye on Allgaier and Custer. They line up on the front row, waiting, waiting. Now the green flag is in the air, and Allgaier quickly punches the button and works his way downhill to turn one. And he will fan off to the outside. Sam Mayer has daylight on the inside, but cannot get close enough. Allgaier will lead by about two car lengths as they work through turn one. Allgaier leads the field down the hill. They'll scramble for that second spot. That's where you'll find Sam Mayer right behind him. Side by side for third. Looks like Sage Caraman, Cole Custer, wheel to wheel off of turn three. You can throw A.J. Allmendinger into the mix. Now the top five going to single file formation. Cole Custer off the driver's left, looking to get that third spot away from Sage Caram as the top two break away from the Junior Motorsports stable. And it is Justin Allgaier at the point, under breaking into turn five. And now there's trouble. Right at the front of the field, A.J. Allmendinger to the outside wall. Cole Custer gets a piece of it. Sammy Smith is involved. So three of the top eight cars on the racetrack involved here in turn number three as everybody else races up the hill. We go under the caution flag for the seventh time this afternoon. Everything unfolding over at turn number five at the feet of Kyle Rickey. Sammy Smith coming together with A.J. Allmendinger racing down the hill out of turn number four. A slight right-hand bend when they made contact. Both cars went spinning into the left-hander of turn number five, and it blocked the track for a moment. Several cars had nowhere to go, and Sammy Smith, one of those that uh, has a whole lot of damage down here in turn number five, the only car unable to pull away. The window net comes down. Sammy's set to climb out of that Toyota. Cole Custer's got a broken axle. He's just trying to limp his way back to the pit lane. And uh, A.J. Allmendinger. By the way, the Cole Custer and A.J. Allmendinger cars were minding their own business when all of a sudden Sammy got crossed up there coming down the hill. And Kurt, that's one of those rough parts of that racetrack to where actually it looks like Josh Berry may have gotten a shove from Kaz Gralla over into Sammy Smith who hooked into A.J. Allmendinger who hooked into Cole Custer. That wasn't a crash. That was a scrum going down the hill into five. It was because all of a sudden, uh, Smith gets turned as Barry's car abruptly moved from left to driver's right. Allmendinger got shoved off to the course to driver's left. Then Custer gets punted. Several cars spin through the middle of turn number five. All of that going on well behind Justin Allgaier and Sam Mayer. But as Kyle Rickey described, it was from third position on back where everything started to take place. Boy, Cole Custer, as he came into turn number five, it's amazing that he picked up a, a piece of this because the, the initial bump, everything really began, it seemed well behind Cole Custer. And then by the time he got into the middle of turn number five, car that had spun off to driver's left slid back across from left to right across the course right in the middle of turn five and hooked Custer. Very odd accident, Kyle, in front of you. We're just trying to get to the bottom of what broke Josh Berry loose. Kaz Gralla was in range, but that was one of those head scratchers of a crash is heading down the hill. Yeah, it looked like everybody was trying to get in the line and get in position to maybe outbreak the car in front of them out of the right-hand bend of turn number four and on approach to turn number five. And we said uh, just a couple of minutes ago how clean it has been been at this end of the course and of course that all changed here as uh, there was contact made on the straightaway with everybody trying to get in the line and unfortunately Cole Custer had 